paws, and this is the back half of our property. You're going to see the soil over here is very dark and full of nutrients. Okay, this is the front of the yard. We do all of our solar experiments here. As compared to the back, you're going to notice that this soil is very light and lacking a lot of nutrients. So why is this soil so much healthier? This soil is terra preta enriched. In 1973, when Dan's parents moved here on this property, it was like a junkyard and virtually no trees. It's come a long way since then. By the late 1970s, there were plants and trees everywhere on this property, and they also produced a lot of yard debris. In the 1970s to mid-90s, Dan's father did what most people in rural areas did with yard debris. He burned it. But following a tradition he learned as a child, Dan's dad would douse the fully engulfed burn pile with water before it was turned to ashes. What remains is this partially sequestered carbon. This stuff was collected, scattered in the yard, and then eventually mowed over. By the early 1990s, I added several of these compost piles to the property. These concrete trenches consume several tons of yard debris each year. Our property is loaded with fruit trees and that rich soil helps fertilize these ponderosa lemons. Anywhere you dig on the property, you're going to find these everywhere. another one. Oh, there's one. Whether you live in a residential area or a large farm, I'm going to show you some composting techniques in some future videos. I'm your host Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy your videos. Whether you live in a residential area or a small farm, I'm going to be showing you some composting techniques and some 